Hey guys, so some of you down there in the comment section of a previous video have ever so kindly requested that I did some GIMP tutorials. Now, for those of you who don't know, GIMP, which stands for the GNU Image Manipulation Program, is essentially the open source and free version of Photoshop. Uh, and it's a program I've come to find incredibly useful over the years, but a lot of people I know have had some kind of problems with the user interface. So I thought at the request of you, I might do some tutorials which might make it a little bit easier to use. So since I am currently doing the thumbnails for my guest videos over the next couple of weeks, I thought I might show you how I made them. This is gonna be very straightforward and quite a simple tutorial just to kick off. It's effectively going to be teaching you how to make a YouTube video thumbnail. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a picture of Abigail here and we're going to be cutting out her hand which is holding tea not drugs I'd like to point out just despite what it might look like because uh, the video is of course about tea so it's kind of a nice little screen cap we got there so um, I'm going to cut it out remove the background and replace it with like a nice bright colored background simple as that so um, what um, we're going to do is we can use a number of tools here uh, to actually cut out the background we can use what's called the fuzzy select tool and that selects like a pixel and then pixels nearby of a similar color. So we can do that. But this is a little bit of a scattergun approach. So we can do select none. This is the select by color, which is the same premise, but it just applies to all pixels on an image. So as you can see here, the pixels aren't necessarily collected uh, 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 are in the same area. And um, yeah. So uh, so again, it's, it's significantly more of a scattergun approach. Or what we're going to be doing is the paths tool, which uh, is the digital equivalent of just cutting something out with a pair of scissors. Now, there are numerous ways we can use this. This is a very, very, very useful tool. Just to give you the basic rundown of it, if I were to draw a shape like that, I could then click the select from path button, press the delete key, and it would then just cut a hole in the image. Then I could do select none, and then just to get rid of the path, you just select like another tool or something. We're also going to be using what's called feathering. Now feathering is uh, if we had a similar cutout shape, selection from path, but instead we just did select feather and we feathered 20 pixels let's say, and did okay, and then we press delete and then we just sort of got rid of the tools. You can see that the edges are a lot more faded, they're, they're, there's a gradient around where I cut out the, uh, the particular square there. And the benefits of uh, feathering is that it's a good opportunity for you to sort of cover up mistakes that you might make. Thumbnails generally appear to be you know, significantly smaller than what you're seeing right up here. So, um, so we can be quite quick, we can be quite, um, you know, we don't have to worry too much about precision on this one. So let's, uh, let's start by cutting out. And there are a few uh, tips and tricks to cutting out um, images from this. For example, if you sel um, selected, or clicked and then held down uh, the left mouse button, you could then drag that out. So you'd have curves. Select the curves and then, and again, curves rather than sharp straight angles. Oops. You can do undo. You can undo all your mistakes. Actually, I'm going to start that again because that is a little bit of a clumsy one. So you might want to, you select with your left mouse button and then you drag out and then you've got two squares. These two squares can then be adjusted. And then you can click again to allow for curves. And again, it takes a little bit of a practice. It takes a little bit of practice. Just to learn where the boxes and where the circles go. But after a little bit of practice, it becomes as easy as anything else in the world, really. Quick, simple, straightforward. I'm going to try and go around Abigail's head in one... One fell swoop there. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping that'll work. But like I say, I'm going to be feathering it quite heavily because, again, thumbnails do appear very, very small in comparison to their actual size. There we go. 
I'm not going to bother about her left hand down there. I'm just really going to be doing that because that's kind of that's a nice perspective shot which just came out of the video really. So there we go. Now we've selected round um, the sort of the outline of Abigail there. Might want to move that out a little bit. And generally speaking, it's better to select sort of away from the shape rather than cut too much off. So now we can select from path. And what I'm going to do as well is um, I'm going to remove the pathing. Is I'm going to select and invert because what we've actually done is we've selected uh, Abigail. What we want to do is select everything that's not her. And then we can do select feather. And I'm going to just take a step in the dark and do 50. But this is again is a very trial and error type of process. And I think that's about right. You can then press delete again. Just to take a little bit more away. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty much on the money. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just do the nice um, aesthetically pleasing background. So what we can do here is add in a new layer. So we can layer, new layer, and we'll start off with white and then we'll color it in uh, now. So we can click OK. And of course, the layer has been placed on top. So this is the layer, the layer dock on the right hand side here. Um, and as you can see here, the layer is above the background. The background is just the title that has been given to Abigail. We'll we can actually rename that. And then we can rename that as the background, just to make things a little bit more easy and a little bit more straightforward. And then you can grab the background and then you can just place it at the correct part of the layer where you want it to come from. So as you can see here, there is little bits of the background that have kind of come through. But again, because it's the nature of the thumbnail, we're not going to worry too much about that. Right, so what kind of background should we have? Should we have green? Green tends to be um, the kind of background I have for Thursday uh, vlogs anyway. So there we go. We've got two shades of green that we selected using the color palette here. And we've got the blend tool. The blend tool is effectively the gradient tool, which you can sort of select across and, you know, do that. Now that's not bad, but just for a little added texture, you can select all these different kinds of gradients. But um, let's do a radial, a radial um, texture. So as you can see, the it's sort of dark and then moving out light. Usually the other way is preferred, so we just click the little blue reverse button, and then just do and do that. That's pretty pretty damn awesome. So. Uh, now we, we've kind of got a good sort of grasp of the outline, but we can still see some parts of uh, the background that Abigail's in. So what we can do is we can use the fuzzy select and select, uh, make sure we're selecting Abigail's layer. So that effectively renders that invisible. It's only there for sort of reference, if nothing else. We can then select the background using the fuzzy select tool. And that sort of selects there, that selects the background there. Um, we can feather the edges in our selection, so we can tick, tick that. Let's go, let's go 25. And then we can sort of press the delete and we can sort of creep in, click again, and then sort of cut away a little bit more. Click down there, just press delete, and that sort of feathers it a little bit more for us. And there we go, select none. And I think that's come out pretty damn well. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, that's a tutorial, just basically how I do the old thumbnails for my guest vlogs. Um, thank you very much to Abigail for letting me use the still from her uh, video. You should be seeing that in a couple of weeks. It's actually pretty damn good. It's about tea, not drugs. And um, yeah, so until next time, I have been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.